help is made at home. The Belgian ambassador to Uganda has asked government to urgently address the challenges facing national medical stores to ensure there is an effective supply of medicines to public health facilities that are used by many Ugandans. Financial and value for money audits of previous years have exposed similar challenges in the supply chain system. In this regard, the HDPs have welcomed the steps taken by the government to address the findings of the Global Fund audit and urge the Minister of Health and the Minister of Finance to endorse the action plan in order to accelerate the implementation. The ambassador who was speaking on behalf of donors at the 22nd Joint Health Sector Joint Review Meeting in Kampala said persistent drug stockout is a key impediment to health service delivery. Minister of Health Dr. Jane Rutha Cheng said government was committed to having a more efficient national medical stores that supplies all public health facilities. There has been a systems problem. NMS had a systems problem. We have discussed it with partners. We have discussed with the people who support the systems. The U.S. government that have come in to procure a system for national medical stores. We should be appreciating this. The ambassador also noted that one of the bottlenecks to quality health services was the underpayment and poor motivation to health workers. He was also concerned about the length of period health officials, especially in the districts, officials spend in acting positions, saying it undermines decision making. A look at top and senior management in the Ministry of Health shows the same picture. This situation could potentially undermine the morale, leadership and decision-making process. Therefore, the health development partners call for strengthening the management of human resources for health at all levels. Members of the civil society organization also expressed concern over the underutilization of funds and the inflation of the price of drugs. That the charging that is happening at national medical stores for some commodities is higher than the growth prices. And that, this does not lead us anywhere, but actually reduces the number of people that should have accessed the services. The health minister emphasized that government is committed to embrace reforms under President Yoweri Museveni's new term of Kisanja Akuna Mchezo, or a term of serious business. We have a slogan, and that slogan is Akuna Mchezo. If we keep on diverting our tensions and our energies to negative directions, it will be Muchezo. We don't want to go back into Muchezo. The keynote speaker at the review meeting, Professor Kama Rogo from Kenya, advised the Minister of Health to embrace reforms and do away with inefficient systems that have failed to deliver health services to the people. And our systems don't deliver because they were never designed to deliver. We need a total overhaul in this Akuna Mchezo approach. As the ministry moves to embrace reforms, the distribution of medical personnel nationwide is still a challenge, with upcountry health centers suffering most. The meeting agreed this was a major challenge that must be urgently tackled to improve health service delivery. Aaron Mukama, NTV.